Most members of the Civil Service Pension Scheme will see their contributions increase from the 1st of April 2012. You can find out what these contribution increases mean for your take-home pay in more detail by using the 2012 Contributions Calculator on the Civil Service website at www.civilservice.gov.uk forward slash pensions forward slash reform forward slash contribution hyphen increases. This calculation is for illustration only. The exact amount will depend on the full range of your individual circumstances, but it should act as a good guide for most people. This video is intended to help ensure you can use your contributions pensions calculator effectively. If you put in the wrong information, you will get the wrong answer. First, you will be asked, what scheme are you in? You will be in a scheme called Classic, Classic Plus, Premium or Nuvos. If you are in partnership, this calculator is not relevant to you. If you are unsure what scheme you are in, you will find this information on your annual benefit statement. If you have not received a benefit statement, you should contact your HR or Shared Services Unit. But, as a guide, if you join the Civil Service after the 30th of July 2007, you will probably be in Nuvos. If you join the Civil Service between the 1st of October 2002 and the 29th of July 2007, you will probably be in Premium. If you join the Civil Service before the 1st of October 2002, you will probably be in the Classic Scheme, unless you decided to move to Classic Plus or Premium in the choice exercise that took place in 2002. Then you will be asked to input your pensionable earnings. That is your pay and pensionable allowances, such as London Waiting or other recruitment and retention allowances. Not all of your pay will count towards your pension. For example, overtime will not normally count. If you are a part-time employee, you will need to input your full-time equivalent earnings. You will also need to put in your working hours as a decimal figure. For example, if you work three days out of five, then you will need to input 0.6. You will be able to find your pensionable earnings in your annual pension benefit statement, but if you are unsure, you can check your payslip or contact your employer or shared services unit. You can also input an approximate amount, which will provide you with approximate results. You will then be asked to input your income tax rate. You will be given three options. Most civil servants are probably basic rate taxpayers, and so should choose the 20% basic rate. However, if you are a higher rate taxpayer, you should choose the 40% rate. The contribution is deducted from your gross pay before income tax is deducted. This gives you tax relief on your contribution at source. If you're a basic rate taxpayer, the tax relief is 20% on the whole of your contribution. If you're a higher rate taxpayer, you get 40% tax relief on your contribution. The calculator shows the contributions paid both before and after tax relief the latter based on the rates you have entered. The calculator also shows the monthly contribution made by your employer, which currently averages around 19% of pay. Don't forget that the calculator is for illustrative purposes and may not reflect your full personal circumstances. Once you have used the calculators, you may have more questions. The Civil Service website has a question and answer section on the contribution increases or you may want to contact your employer or shared service.